hundred years, the white majority is confused. They make all kinds of assumptions, and the white minority, who are aware of the horrors of the criminal injustice system, but unaware of the history of black America, feel themselves being lumped in with the elites. When they scream at Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson and call them race baiters, they're right to scream, but they're screaming at the wrong faces. The media is terrified to let the mass of Americans know the truth about our three-tiered caste system alive and well and keeping us divided. Why do I need to identify with those ancestors before me that committed genocide and not only enslaved, but brutalized the people who in chains and in struggle for civil rights created and inspired some of the greatest art, music, culture, writing, ideas, invention, and humanity the world has ever seen. I identify with being part of that struggle. I don't need to be proud of my blood because the same color red gives life to us all. I don't need to be proud of the color of my skin because I was never told I needed to be ashamed of it. True shame is only for those who have hate in their hearts, and that can be healed. I don't need to be proud of my religion because all the great religions warn us against pride. I am privileged to be a white, straight male in a society that favors those traits for which I had nothing to do with. Favors I might not even know I had. I grew up poor. There were a few years I was homeless, but I did not grow up black. And I was blessed in my childhood to see the difference. To paraphrase Van Jones, even in a hoodie, I look less like Trayvon than I do like Mark Zuckerberg. So along the way, in forming my identity as a human being, I choose to identify with all of humanity in a struggle for harmony. You are my ally and I am yours. I don't need to be better than someone else to feel good about myself. I need to feel the same. I acknowledge racism as existing and alive as it ever was, and in doing so, I eliminate any invented wall between us. When we ally ourselves with a movement that's been asking to just acknowledge for four odd centuries how overdue it is to just say three words, Black Lives Matter. Then united, we are a power that will shake the masters to their core. Yes, I say masters of the global economy that exploits not only our own nation, but the entire planet. The masters of the commercial news, the military industrial complex, prison complex, the overwhelming majority of the government. The masters corrupted by the influence too much power has on all human beings. For injustice and inequality are one and the same. Black, brown, white, sisters, brothers. The class struggle unites us all, as it always has. And race baiters, you are exposed. You are listening to John Henry Media Network from the United States of America. Stay tuned in. The next episode will begin soon. You have just heard another great and powerful message for our black community. Brought to you by John Henry Media Network in the United States of America. This is the place for you, your family and friends to hear educational messages and music from other very important black people to help build a stronger and more revolution-ready black America. Your message will awaken another sleeping giant. So, contact us today at jahu.enterprises at yahoo.com. I say again, that's jahu.enterprises at yahoo.com. Get your music or message heard by millions for another generous donation.
today. Now, the sun is shining.